All right, this is Vegeta A259 again, and this is part two of the Masterpiece Optimus Prime review. And before we get started with this transformation, there's a feature that I forgot uh, to mention on the first part. Right here on the side of his arm, Optimus has a little, if I can get it out, a little communicator so he can talk to other Autobots. Uh, on this arm, it's got a little sticker with a picture of Bumblebee on it. And on the other arm, it's the same thing, only it's got a little picture of Starscream. So he can communicate with Autobots or Decepticons. Alright, let's get into this transformation. Hopefully we, we can do it before time runs out. And without me knocking over the camera too many times. Alright, uh, first, I'm going to flip out these little thingies on the back of his arm. I'm going to put his hands into a fist and just slide those in. Then, he's got some stuff on the back which are going to fold out. And I apologize if you guys can't see every step of the transformation because this is a rather large figure and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get everything on camera. And right now we're pretty much just disassembling his torso to fold everything out. I really like the fact that the front tires on the truck were hidden inside his chest. That was a nice touch. And the whole little matrix compartment pulls out. And as I told you in the first video, I'd show you the matrix. Like I said earlier, it used to be gold, but I painted some clear orange on here to make it a little more accurate to the show. And you can actually pull it apart, and the matrix opens. So, very nice little uh, chrome-plated matrix here. You're going to want to flip that matrix box around. It's kind of tricky to get in there all the way. And then flip the bumper around. And pull the bumper down. He actually has two grills. The grill that's on his stomach in robot mode is actually on the bottom of the truck. And there's a whole other grill that's uh, completely different that's actually on the truck. Alright, we're going to flip his head around. It goes down inside the torso. Then we're going to bring these arms around. And they fold up into the truck cab pretty much the same way they do on the uh, original figure. And then all these nice little panels just kind of fold up and come together. And there, you've got Optimus's truck cab. And crap, I forgot. I have to rotate his torso. Let's see if I can do it. No, I'm not going to be able to do it. I have to go back a step. I have to take these arms back out so I can rotate his torso. There we go. Now the arms can go back in. There we go. Just get everything back where it was. There. All right. Now the legs are not nearly as complex as the torso. I'm going to flip this little gray thingy on the side out. And then we basically just clip the legs together. And then the feet fold up and rotate. And there we go. And then He's got like a little spring-loaded uh, mechanism in his legs. You push in these little gas tanks on the side, and the thighs slide down into the lower leg. Flip these little panels on the side out. And that's pretty much it. Optimus, let me sit this down and get the camera over here. Optimus is now transformed. And actually looks really nice in truck mode, I think. Get this old matrix out of the way. And 
And uh, like I said, this is the first release of uh, Masterpiece Optimus. I think I pre-ordered this when it first came out, so uh, I didn't realize that two years later they were going to release another version that came with a uh, trailer. But like I showed you in the first review, that didn't stop me. I bought a Just a Toys trailer, and that little gray thing we flipped out is where the trailer hooks on and makes a very nice Masterpiece Optimus Prime. And uh, for scale, in in uh, robot mode, he's about 12 inches tall. About the same size as a perfect grade uh, or 1 60th scale Gundam model kit. So uh, actually, I think officially this is 1 24th scale, which is odd because most Transformers don't have scales. But I think the uh, Masterpiece Optimus, in any way, and the alternators are in 1 24th scale. It's one of the reasons the alternators can fit inside the trailer. So, uh, I guess that's about it. So now I'll just get time to uh, talk about him. Yeah, this is a very, very nice figure. By far the best figure of Optimus Prime you're ever going to get. Or at least the original Generation 1 Optimus Prime. Uh, usually, when I got it, I think it was about 120 something dollars uh, it wasn't too much. I think that's the retail price. Uh, more than likely, if you find it on eBay or a hobby store somewhere, it's going to be more. Especially if you get the version that comes with the trailer, that's going to run you about 300 bucks, which is ridiculous. I actually think it's cheaper to get the first one, like this, and then get a separate trailer. Or, if you're kind of lazy or don't have the money, you can just use the cardboard trailer that this guy comes with. It actually looks pretty nice, aside from being made out of cardboard. So, that just about does it for this review. I highly, highly, highly recommend this uh, figure. Uh, if you're a hardcore Transformers fan, this is definitely a must-have. I have two other Masterpiece figures. Uh, Megatron, you probably can't see him because he's blurry. And Starscream over here as well. Yeah, you definitely couldn't see those. But uh, I have those, and I just might review them one day. So look forward to that, and I will see you guys next time.